It's Kerry, I'm the Inclusion Support Coordinator at Jigsaw Thornbury and this morning me and my lovely boys Alfie and Ollie thought we would give you a demonstration of how you could meet your child's sensory diet at home with no resources, apart from a stick. It's time for your sensory workout! Oh! Right, first up, do five twists. One, two, three, four, five. Next up, touch your nose, then touch your right ear. Da and da. Touch your nose, then touch your left ear. Da and da. And carry on doing that for three da, times. Da, 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 da. <laughs> right, Alfie, next up, you need to circle your arms five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now, Stand up straight and take 10 deep breaths. <gasps> or maybe we'll just do five. Good boy, Alfie, high five. When you've done your sensory workout, then you can have chocolate. First off, I'd like you to do five star jumps one next you need to touch your right ear with your left hand and touch your left ear with your right hand this is very similar to a dab so actually dabbing and flossing are very good parts of a sensory di diet um ollie i want you to jump over a pencil on the floor five times That's what we've used, we've used a stick, stick. Okay, do, it says on here 10, but you can do any amount that suits your child. One, two, three, four. Uh, next, you need to touch your toes on your right foot and then touch your toes on your left foot. Stand back a bit. Okay, so... Stand up straight, or oh, doesn't matter. Just so touch these feet and then up again and touch the next ones. And again and again. Up nice up and straight in between. And lastly, Ollie, I want you to lie down on the floor on your back. One. And do five really big deep breaths. So in through your nose. Right, now you've seen my boys do their sensory workout or sensory diet, it depends what you like to call it. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the cards that we've been using. So most uh, often a sensory diet or a sensory workout would focus on the proprioceptive and vestibular sense. Proprioception is knowing where your body is in relation to your environment. So children that fidget and move a lot are often seeking extra proprioceptive input to help them know where they are in relation to the space that they're in. Uh, your vestibular sense is to do with balance and coordination. So children that spin and twist and swing a lot are often seeking extra vestibular yeah. input. Right, I'm going to show you the cards that we use now. These were printed from Twinkle, but if you don't have access to a printer, you could just write things down on a piece of paper, put them in a hat or a cup, and your child can select them. Um, or you could do it what I do and work out which order to do them in. I know my boys... Um, are very they're massive sensory seekers as you can see but also um, they need something to help them calm down at the end so we always end on some deep breaths right let me show you the cards 15 twists spin in a circle five times circle your arms 15 times Touch your nose, then touch your right ear. Touch your nose, then touch your left ear. Repeat as required. 15 star jumps. Hop on each leg 15 times. Take 10 deep breaths. Circle your arms 10 times. Do 10 jumps over a pencil on the floor. 
Touch your right ear with your left hand and touch your left ear with your right hand. Swap that, hands. That's one. That's one. Touch your toes on your right foot and then your toes on your left foot. Repeat. Okay. Mommy. I'm just going to demonstrate that certain popular dance moves can also be great to incorporate into a sensory diet. So this is the dab, yeah. um, which as you can see is crossing the midline and also providing some vestibular input. Next he's going to demonstrate the floss, which is actually a really complicated move to perfect. Again that's crossing the midline and providing some vestibular input. Thanks Ollie.